Mendoza. Omar, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Texas, the Valley, RGV, Rio Grande Valley. Uh, I'm, I'm really nervous, Ernie. I don't know what to say. Well, remember, in the show, if I ask you something that is too uncomfortable for you, all you got to say is none your business. None your business? Yeah, none your business. All right. So, how tall are you? I'm taller than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that. We haven't determined that yet, just yet. So you're from uh, down by the coast, right? From how how is it growing up in that environment? I mean, you're right there at Party Central, so you know you're right next to uh, South Padre Island. I mean, I I mean I I imagine it's quite different growing up there than like say growing up where I grew up at. I don't know where you grew up, Bernie, but. Well, I'm not uh, growing up yet. <laughs> I grew up in a little town about 20 miles from South Padre Island. And um, there was a lot of opportunities to go to the beach. So growing up, we spent a lot of time on the coast, in the beach, no. uh, in the water. I learned how to surf. Fishing was a big part of uh, growing up. Um, camping, having a lot of fun during the summers. Uh, in high school, senior skip day, everyone went to the South Padre Island. I uh, had a great time there. Bonfires were really cool. Um, so yeah, childhood was, was fun. It was awesome be, being able to go outdoors whenever I wanted. Yeah. Hanging out with friends. So, uh, what's your most embarrassing moment? I'd have to say the one memory that sticks in my mind the most is when I was in second grade. I was uh, hanging out. It was like a period where we were just kind of like moving our desks around and stuff and we were doing some type of assignment, I don't remember what it was. And I had bent over to pick up my pencil and I, I let out a fart. <laughs> <laughs> that was like eight or seven years old. And you still can't get over it, huh? And, now, and I remember distinctly... You just did that a while ago though, actually. <laughs> Nothing's changed. And we're inside the van, it's and then not good. This one girl who I really liked and had a crush on busted out laughing, pointed fingers at her, pointed her finger at me, so everybody knew what had happened, and I was the one that did it. And then the entire class started laughing, and I, I, I almost cried. Yeah. And I felt like crap. Man, and that's, I, that's messed up, man. I, I've, I've, hated that, I've hated that girl ever since. <laughs> so, so how's life different now? Because you're, I mean, you don't even work now, so you're, like, you're a stay-at-home mom, Basically, you're the woman, uh, so except you couldn't have the baby, but you know. So I just, I just want to know how, how does that change your life? I mean, it's put you on hold, hasn't you? Uh, put me on hold. I'm, I'm still busy. Yeah. I'm yeah, I know. Taking care of a baby had a lot of had a lot to do with the uh, creation of that baby. Well, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's fun. I like it. It's exciting. It's new. I'm learning something every day. Uh, yeah. First time dad. Yeah, because you're Fun. you're at that stage. I remember when I when I had my kids and you learning and every little movement like, oh look, you know they're they can say dada or they can raise their left hand and touch their nose or something, you know. Yeah, every new accomplishment is like a huge deal. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a big deal. Yeah, yeah okay. something that we take for granted. Mm -hmm. And but when you've cool. seen a new life form in front of you, it's you know it, it just means so much more. Yes, it does. Yeah. So let's go on. Let's move past, past the baby making years. Okay. And um, so you live in Tyler now. Uh, close. Yes. Close. Tell me, tell me, how's life in that neck of the woods? Life in that neck of the woods is fun and exciting because it's new. Never lived in Central Texas. Before, uh, with my family, new family, um, kids going to school, wife's at work all the time. I'm at home with the baby, and yeah, which is honorable. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. not too many men will give up their career to go uh, right. raise their kids. So you know, I mean, as much as you know, uh, you know, I joke with you about it. You know, you know, I kind of that's a great idea that you sacrifice your career to go uh, raise your kids. Yeah, it's the greatest thing in the world to have the opportunity and the fortune, the fortunate to, to be able to do that and be with him in 
see him grow and everything else and uh, you know take care of him. That's really really cool, I think. Um, and we're not too far away from family, so family comes up and visits, and uh, that's that's always fun to get a little break from taking care of the, the rug rat all day. Hey, so I remember you used to like to surf, so you you're probably pretty much not a surfer no more. I'm pretty. I mean, I'm just guessing, you know, you're living up in Tyler and not working and yeah. you're baby raising and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, were you any good at it? That's what I want to know. I mean, were you at, remember, your friends are going to see this, okay. so you need to be truthful because uh, well, they know the real deal. The if you could deal. actually even stand up on a board or you're one of those boogie board guys that just lay around on its belly. <laughs> uh, let's see. So surfing, yeah. Surfing waves. South Padre Island on a body board, or people know them as boogie boards. It's, boogie board was a brand. They're actually body boards. Oh, excuse me. Uh, stand up surfing on surfboards, longboards is something I also did. I still do. I haven't done it in a long time, but it's like riding a bike, but you never forget how to do it. And to say I was good is, I don't know. I, I loved it. I loved doing it. You like doing it. That's all that really matters. It's like it's like riding a motorcycle. Every yeah. time you go out into the water, you learn something different. Yeah. You try something new. Yeah. Um, and it, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, I one day hope to take my son when he's old enough out and teach him how to surf. Yeah. But uh, surfing waves on anything is fun. Bodyboards, yeah. surfboards, uh, kayaks, or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I. I do a lot of activities. It don't mean exactly I'm good at it, you know. Yes. But I enjoy it, and that's that's all that really matters. It's enjoyable. What about you, Mr. Nanez? What what do you do for I fun? Doesn't matter. You're going on the net. I'm your business. I <laughs> There you go. Now your business. <laughs> anyway, we're over here on the flight line trying to launch this pig um, nothing's broke on our system so you know how you know how it is later